y'all. Good morning. Welcome to my channel, Dougie Shaven. The sun is coming up here in Central Texas. It's going to be a beautiful day. It's kind of that time of year when you get those little afternoon showers and stuff. I got my Farah. This is the signature blend right here, uh, roasted right here in Austin, Texas. It's a bit of a darker, darker blend. Today with my shave, I'm going to be starting out with my Smiles for Miles brush. This is a 26 millimeter synthetic. And keeping up with Citrus Week, I will be featuring Satsuma. Really, really good stuff. Just got out of the shower, nice hot shower. Get my face wet. The Olympics are starting on Friday. Can't wait for that. That's going to be fun, hopefully. Uh, we have just gone back to stage four here in Austin, Texas. So I'm going to start the shave with my True Fit and Hill pre-shave oil. This is my favorite pre-shave oil ever, ever. It doesn't feel oily. Uh, it's very, very expensive, but it has a nice tangerine scent to it that I absolutely love. Oh, baby. Oh, great scent. Really good scent. Now, there's a lot of debate. Pre-shave, no pre-shave. You took a shower, you don't need to pre-shave. Blah, 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 yada, yada. I like my products. And I feel that a good pre-shave does help you. I, I believe it does. Um, I'm going to be using my Mercure 24C today. I've got a brand new first use feather in there. Love feather. Super terrific. Really nice hydrated lather up in my Captain's Choice bowl here. And I gotta tell you, this stuff, this Sterling soap smells so good. I mean, it's like a dream sickle on steroids. It's just orangey. It works really well with my True Fit and Hill pre-shave. You gotta watch when you're talking, when you're doing up your lather, cause you can spit all over your camera. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful scent. I gotta get going early today. I gotta redo an entire network segment. And while they're in a morning meeting, so there's no downtime. People with computers, they don't like downtime for some reason. I don't know. But. Oh, man. Beautiful lather. Sterling, you guys rock. I have probably about seven, eight of their offerings. And maybe 12 of their samples. And just incredible. Incredible stuff and priced super right. I mean, you can't go wrong with Sterling. You just can't. Ah, oh, what a great lather. Good start to the day. First pass with the grain. Now, why do we do that? Well, for an efficient shave and like most people, I'm in search of that BBS. I want a really great, super close shave. So in beard reduction, you start with the grain
to slowly reduce the growth off of your face and make sure it's an efficient shave. Boy, that feather blade is awesome. I've got irritation all over my face. I started running again and I'm sweating every morning. And I've been trying to wash my face at night and keep up with my exfoliation, but sometimes you just can't do it. That's okay. I got a feather blade in there and it'll chop them bumps right off. Great first pass. This Smiles for Miles Synthetic splays wonderfully. Produces a wonderful lather. You gotta check them out. Uh, he, Smiles for Miles is on Etsy and uh, he's got some stuff at Murphy and McNeil too. That's uh, when he had his drop on there. I. That's how I scored this guy. It's absolutely beautiful too. I love the colors. This is one of those soaps that you want to eat. <laughs> it's so good. Don't eat the soap, Doug. It just smells so good. It really does. So, uh, I just heard today the Stones are coming to Circuit of the Americas, which is our racetrack here in Austin, Texas, which has turned out to be just a wonderful, wonderful place. Um, I think it's November or something like that for the uh, Formula One deal. They were supposed to be here in May, but they had to cancel because of COVID. All right, now we're going across the grain. Oh, listen to that feedback. Super close. And in, in the uh, blade forums, um, you know, they have guys that go out and they test everything, you know. And uh, feather blades, while they are the sharpest, I believe they're the thinnest. That's just my own personal opinion. But I can't get more than two shaves out of them. Just and, and just because I like it to keep them nice and tight. That's just me. You can really hear that audible feedback as I'm removing my beard growth. Great second pass. Of course, I'm going with all three today. I look good in that office setting, you know what I'm saying? I just shaved my neck with a double edge and uh, keeping that nice and tight. I'm one of those guys that likes to keep my handle clean. I don't like to put it in the soap, you know, I want to keep it as clean as I can, you know not get soap all over my hands. We we're on vacation and my brother and I were shaving <laughs> and he's got his handle all in the soap and I'm like, what are you doing, man? Have my little nephews in there, giving them some pointers. My son, <laughs> he's like full beard action. I mean, he is full beard. I was that way at a, at a point in time too. So, I mean, I can't, I can't knock it. 
But now I just like to shave. It's just one of those really nice things, you know. Like on the weekends, I'll do the full-on executive shave where I'll have my hot towels in the microwave, you know, and uh, break out a nice straight that I stropped to perfection. All right, against the grain now, folks. Now, as I continue to reduce my beard growth, the beard grows in different directions. And with each pass, you remove more and more of that growth. And to get a closer shave without doing a massive cleanup, sometimes I've had the time to do it. Today I don't, I don't have time for cleanup. I don't have anything. I'm going for my three passes and that's it. And that's, you know, I trust my feather blade just like I trust my Titleist golf ball. I know it's gonna perform in the way that I need it to perform. So looking forward to uh, the Olympics starting. Uh, the golf guys are, we got a really great golf team this year. Ooh, against the grain with the feather. It's tricky. Beauty. So yeah, you know, I hope I hope uh, we can bring back some gold with the golf team in this past tournament uh, at the British Open. University of Texas had three alumni in the top ten. That says a lot about Texas golf. It really does. Oh. Baby. Now see that's what well, that's why you do three passes right there. All right, nice warm rinse. I'm gonna be smelling good today at the office. And my 50 cent towel. These I get at the Walmart. You can get 20 of them for like 12 bucks. You know, and I got them sitting here in my den. And I don't like to get soap on and stuff on my Lancaster, so that's why I have that one. Let's go for a nice cold rinse now. Cold rinse closes the pores. And then you break out the Lancaster. Oh, good stuff. Feather blade. That Mercure 24C with the long handle, I can really control that. Super, super close shave on the cheeks, on the neck area, everywhere. Got my Thayers right here. A little bit of that. This is a facial toner. I'm putting on my neck as well as I just shaved my neck. Oh, baby. Good stuff. A lot of guys I see, they don't rub their product into their face. They just slap it on there and go. And I like to get the benefits of everything, personally. That's just me. That's how I roll. I love this soap so much, I had to get the full set. So I have the balm here, which I am going with. A little bit of the balm and a little of the Sterling Soap Company balm goes a long way. 
uh, continuing on in concert with that wonderful orange scent. Absolutely love it. A little goes a long way. Nice. And because we're partying, we're partying, baby, the whole way. I've got the Satsuma After Shave Splash. Now, this has a little bit of menthol in it, which I'm going to enjoy for this nice hot Texas day. Feel the burn, baby. Great scent. Nice, nice orange scent. Great three passes. Folks, thank you so much for enjoying my time together with you that I love. So make sure you come back. Make sure you support, like, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have an awesome awesome day. I'll see you real soon on Dougie's Shaving.